I want to break down some of the news we've got about COVID-19 into three things to know right now. First, the number of cases in the world has surpassed 3 million. John Hopkins University's worldwide count also shows more than 211,000 people have died. Second, the Trump administration is working with states to increase testing to a level of 2% per state per month. Finally, the Department of Justice will be on the lookout for local and state stay at home orders that could violate constitutional rights. The state is now under a safer at home order. It's not as strict as the stay at home order, but it does still come with restrictions and comes with a lot of explanation and detail. Sonia Gutierrez is safer at her home this morning. And Sonia, after days of wondering what this all means, the governor gave a little bit more guidance about it on Monday. Yeah, Corey, and the guidance starts by encouraging people to stay home rather than requiring people to do so. People who are vulnerable do still have to stay home. So here are a few more details. What's allowed now are retail pickup and retail estate home showings. On May 1st, stores can allow people inside with strict precautions. And some, some personal services like salons and dog groomers could open their doors again. But not until May 4th could offices allow 50% of their workforce back into the building. The numbers tell us you have been taking stay at home seriously. I know it hasn't been easy. I'm also here to say that it won't be easy going forward. This is not any kind of mission accomplished moment. It just means we've avoided a catastrophe. We've avoided a breach of our health care system. Uh, we've avoided mass loss because we didn't have enough medical capacity. But we're far from back to normal. Our hope, my hope, your hope, is to be able to continue to relax more restrictions in the future. But that'll only happen if we succeed. So the governor also says that we should try to stay home as much as we can. And if we do have to go out to always wear our masks, he does say that if people and businesses do not follow these rules, it is possible he would consider stricter ones. Corey? Yeah, we do not want to go back to a stay at home order. I know a lot of people are excited that things are slowly lifting. So we all definitely have to do our part and follow the rules. Sonia, thank you. More top COVID-19 stories now. The head of Japan's Medical Association said that Tokyo Olympics could be unrealistic if they don't come up with a vaccine. The games have been postponed until next summer. More heartbreaking news out of New York City. An emergency room doctor has died by suicide. Dr. Lorna Breen was on the front lines and had described to her dad the devastating toll coronavirus took on her patients. Her dad says she was a true hero. We could see a shortage of meat soon. Processing plants have been temporarily shut down around the country. The Ag Department says there is enough frozen meat in storage to cover us, so you don't need to panic. California's governor is warning people to stick to social distancing guidelines. Over the weekend, video showed packed beaches in Southern California. Those images are an example of what not to see. People, what not to do. This virus doesn't take the weekends off. Governor Gavin Newsom warned that it could be uh, could delay the reopening of the state if people don't social distance. Oprah Winfrey, Julia Roberts, former uh, President George W. Bush, they are among 200 people taking part in a 24 hour global live stream event. They call it the Unite event. It'll be kicking off Friday evening. The event will be live streamed on multiple platforms. They'll be talking about what's next in a coronavirus era.